you can set more than one variable in a for loops initialization, and you can do more than one action after each iteration. You separate the initializers and actions with commas. I don't encourage you to write loops this way unless you know exactly what you're doing. But it does appear in books, and you may see it in other people's code, so you should understand it. This code uses i and j as index variables because they have no inherent meaning. Let's trace through this loop and see what it does. The initializer sets both i and j to 1. The continuation test asks if i is less than 4. 1 is less than 4 which means we print the values of i, j, and i plus j. The action after iteration adds 1 to i, making it 2, and 3 to j, which makes it 4. We come back to the test. 2 is less than 4, which means we print 2, 4, and 2 plus 4. The action increases i to 3 and j to 7. i is still less than 4, and we print i, j, and i plus j, 3, 7, and 10. The action after iteration increases i to 4 and j to 10. When we come to the test this time, 4 is not less than 4, and the for loop has concluded. If you aren't comfortable writing a loop this way, you can change it to an ordinary loop by taking one of the variables and initializing it outside the loop and doing the increment action at the end of the body of the loop. And that leaves you with a loop that has only one variable in the for specification.